damaged and missing pieces and still sold for $375 in 48 hours. Do you love it? This sold on Mercari for $300. Ah! Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, we are going to talk about plush bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for a profit. One thing I can say about plush is you can usually source it cheap. What is plush? Well, it's a stuffed animal. Uh, so let's talk about the ones that go for big money. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, inviting everybody in the group to share their best plush bolo, an item they picked up cheap and sold for a profit on a platform such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, wherever, whatever platform it may be. And I'm going to share them with you. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And check out this first one. I look for these lovey plush now because of Bolo Buddies. I featured this in one of my plush videos. Thanks for the advice. Purchased for a dollar and took a best offer for 50. And it is a Slumberkins, sorry, Slumberkins. I need to make this bigger so I can read it. Alpine Yeti gray faced snuggler baby lovey soft and silky look at that face oh my goodness plush one of my favorite things to sell why because it's so stinking cute some of them just completely shock you you can get them cheap some of them go for crazy money but a lot of them are bread and butter now one downfall i mean i'm going to tell you the truth here some plush takes a long time to sell very, very long tail. So if you don't have a big space for your inventory, plush may not be a good choice for you, or you may need to be very selective. Um, I pick up a lot of plush. I like plush, but let's go on to the next one here. Picked this small rabbit up at a local thrift store for 99 cents. I have never heard of the character, but noticed an old Disney tag. I was surprised with the sold comp, sold fairly quickly for a best offer of $40. Buyer was all in for $49. Okay, so the Disney tag on this one. Typically, the beanies that say Disney, they're a bread and butter. This one, however, it did pretty good. 40 bucks is not bad for a small plush, but look at the tag. Most are bread and butter, but when I see that tag, I'm probably going to take a second look now. Vintage Disney Beanbag Plush Cuppy Bunny Rabbit Discontinued the Parent Trap. Huh. Somebody put, um, my daughter, who is now 26, carried this cuppy everywhere. So this person is talking about their daughter who is now 26, carrying this stuffed animal. And this is exactly why these plush go for big money, because they're nostalgic. Or people have kids and they lose the items and they need a quick, fast replacement. So where do they turn for a discontinued plush? Yes, eBay. Pick this guy up at the bin. So cost was less than a dollar. Sold within a couple weeks. It's a Jelly Cat London Medium Woodland Babe Gray Squirrel Plush. And this one sold for 40 bucks. Jelly Cat is a great brand. There's one Jelly Cat that goes for almost $1,000, and I have a video on that. Bought these at a, and you want to know who sold it? Or sold one of them. There's been a lot of sales that have gone for a lot for this particular item. But the Cajun reseller sold it. It's a frog, and it's a Jelly Cat. And you can go check it out, that video, to see where he got it and what it sold for. But oh my goodness. Yeah, crazy money. Bought these at a thrift store. Just seen Hallmark and thought they looked cool. All made noises and came with a book. Paid $10 for them plus 20% off donation discount. Also was a complete set. Was just missing one character. Hallmark... Tropicanimals plush collection with Marley's big surprise hardcover book. Do you love it? This sold on Mercari for $300. Ah, you guys. All right. I'm going to tell you again. I know you've heard it. I tell it in almost every plush video I do. Get your plush on Mercari. I'm telling you, if it's flooded on eBay, you have a better chance of selling it for more on Mercari. I do have a referral link down below. You don't have to use it, but if you use it, you're going to get free money. You're going to get 
$10 to shop when you sign up, and you're going to get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So if you're thinking about Mercari, use my referral link down below. That gives me some cash to shop also when you guys do those two things. So I appreciate it very much. But um, I'm telling you, Build-A-Bear is a big one that is flooded, flooded, flooded on eBay and Mercari. Sometimes it goes for more. Go check out this video I did. I'll try to remember to link it down below. Uh, most of you have probably seen it, but if you're new to my channel, you got to see it. But this is, this is cuteness right here. Purchased at the Goodwill for 50 cents, sold on Mercari for full asking price of $149 plus shipping. See, you guys are catching on. Mercari for plush, $149. It is a bazooka bunny rabbit. Plush pastel, and this is what it looks like. Somebody put, oh my goodness, my son used to have one of these. Again, somebody who remembers this from their child's childhood brings back memories. This person may go look for this item now because they want to have that memory, you know? Paid 25 cents at a garage sale, sold within two days for $149.25. Make ship plush hoodie from Marble Hornets, new with tags. I don't know what character that is, but wowie wow, wow. The next one is a Rushton, and if you haven't seen my Rushton videos, I've got quite a few of those, I think two or three now, uh, they are just incredible, and some of them go for crazy money. They are always, always something you should pick up, no matter what the condition is. As you'll see in some of my other videos, it doesn't matter if they're perfect. They can go for big bucks. Husband found this for free in his mom's attic. She had no idea where it came from. Cost was nothing. Had damage and missing pieces of the costume, sent out automatic offers for $375 and sold in 48 hours. Damaged and missing pieces and still sold for $375 in 48 hours. That's awesome. It is a vintage Rushton Artist Bunny Rabbit Easter Rubber Face Read Description. Husband found this Webkin's Black Wolf with unused code for a dollar at the Goodwill. Accepted an offer in a couple days for $82. Yes, Webkins is another one I have a video on. You guys have done tons of plush videos. So check out my Bolo category videos. I have a whole playlist where I pick categories and I teach you about Bolo items. Bought this in a lot of plush for 20 on Facebook Marketplace. I've made well over 200 so far. Plush is my favorite thing to sell. It is a 2012 Namco Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures plush. Ha, <laughs> Pac-Man. Man. Paid three dollars at a flea market and sold for fifty on eBay. It's small. What is it and who makes it? Uh, Cuz Co. In shape of llama from the Emperor's New Groove by Disney is what they wrote. Cuz Co. Hmm. I don't know. Never seen that one. I found this jelly cat in a large two dollar grab bag of stuffed animals at my local honey hole. It took a couple weeks to sell, but sold to a person in the UK. Sold for $179.99. Jellycat Bashful Bunny Pistachio Special Edition. Cuteness. Cuteness. Um, how do I ship plush? I use a poly mailer. If the eyes are plastic, I usually take bubble wrap and put bubble wrap around the eyes, and then I put it in a bubble poly mailer. You can buy the bigger poly mailers that are bubble. They're, they're kind of pricey, but I don't use them very much. And uh, sometimes I can use my eBay coupon for the bigger ones, but they even make bigger ones. Uh, if it is one of the hard, stiff, kind of big jumbo plush, I sometimes I'll put those in a box. But mostly I just use a padded poly mailer. Found at the bins, so about a dollar. Sold pretty quickly. It is a Figment Turkey Plush Thanksgiving Pilgrim Disney Parks Epcot exclusive. Sold it for $80. Um, another thing you could do is if you do not want the cost of a padded flat rate envelope, you could probably just wrap the plush in bubble wrap and stick it in a just regular poly mailer. That would probably work also. I don't think you need to box plush necessarily. Maybe if they're um, the stiffer ones. Those, I I don't know. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? How do you guys ship and pack 
your plush. Let me know down in the comments. Look how cute this is. I don't know if it's cute or scary. Cute or scary? Vote in the comments. <laughs> Picked up at a church sale for a dollar. Took a best offer within 48 hours of listing for $160. Original asking price was $199. Had multiple issues. Broken stitching. Holes in fur. Two broken front legs. Not a rushed in, but turned out it's a Commonwealth plush. Stinky too. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they said it was stinky. I hope they disclosed that it was stinky. 1940s rubber face Rushton style reindeer plush doll. Sold on um, Mercari for $160. Now, I am going to have to educate here. Do not put Rushton style in your title on eBay. Now, they got away with it on uh, Mercari. I, I would not do that anywhere. Um because, yeah, what is it called? It's called uh, keyword spamming. And you will get in trouble on eBay for that. Now, I don't know if Mercari is as strict, but I would not take a chance. I can see why they put rushed in style, but I think rubber face is probably going to get your rushed in followers anyway, without taking that risk. So this is what it looks like. Definitely could have sold this for more, but I just wanted a quick sale at the time. This was a few years ago. Their price has gone up quite a bit quite a bit since then as well. Oh my. It's a vintage Mattel My Child pet. Oh, it's so cute. Sold for $237. And she said this this sold in 2020. So it is an older sale, but she's selling saying that they sell for more now. So I'm glad she definitely shared it. But look where it sold, guys. Mercari. Are you believing me? Are you believing me yet? Go join Mercari. All right. Paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. Only bought because I had the exact same bear as a little girl. It's a vintage 1986 heart to heart teddy bear plush with original tags. Flaw works great. Sold for $65.99. And this is what it looks like. Paid a dollar at a yard sale. Took a best offer of $40. The Elder Scrolls New with Tags Skoma Plush Loot Crate Gaming 2022 Rare Skyrim Bethesda $49.48. Look at that face on that thing. He's like, Rrr. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Muppet Plush Set paid $15 at an estate sale and sold it for $228 on Mercari. Don't skip over Muppets. They can be bolos. Thanks, Courtney. I've learned a lot from you. Jet Tack on Mercari, Etsy and eBay. That is awesome. I count this as a plush. Bought at Value Village Savers for $3.27. Put on auction with Buy It Now for $99.99 and sold the same day. I guess I should have put it for higher. Buy It Now. But I was happy with the quick sale and the high profit. It is a, oh, let me try to read this. Skella Animals, the dog plush backpack, hot topic, rare, excellent condition. And this is what it looks like. So if you can't find anything like it and there are none listed, I recommend starting an auction at what you are going to put your buy it now at. So for her, her buy it now was $99.99. I would have started the auction at that. And it doesn't hurt to run an auction for seven days and see if your item sells. You could get a bidding war and you might not. If you don't, well, then you just relist it at a buy it now. So that's one way to feel out the market when you have a hard to find rare item. Another resource that I use is WorthPoint. Um, it is pricey. It took me a long time to finally commit and buy it because it's expensive, but you will make money because you're going to be more educated. There is also a free tool called Terapeak. Um, that is connected to eBay that you can use. And that is a great resource. Also, it goes back two years. So if you're interested in checking out WorthPoint, I do have a referral link down below. But again, I waited years and years and years before I got it. I do have some videos on WorthPoint. If you want to check them out, it shows why I use it and how it has helped me with my business. Recognize this guy from a fairly popular anime at my local bins. Bought for probably two to three, judging by the weight. Originally put him up for auction starting at 300 just to get a feel for it. 
but midway through got a request to sell as a buy it now at that price instead and wanted to move him along. I couldn't even get the yellowing out of the eyes. So what would you have done? Would you have added the buy it now or would you have let the auction ride? Goodness, goodness, goodness. Mm, it was midway through. So it wasn't like right at the beginning and they got like 20 offers. You know, that happens sometimes. You put something up for auction and you get like five people that email you immediately wanting you to do a buy it now. That's when you know you have something hot. Do not end the auction in that scenario. Um, more than likely, you're going to get a lot of bids on your item. Um, you may even get somebody, you may have it listed for $49.99 on auction. Somebody may come in and offer you $500 and somebody else might offer you $300 and somebody else might offer you $200. So then you have to decide, are they sending me their best offer? Like, is it worth more than $500? Do a little more research at that time. Yes, if you don't have any bids, you can do a buy it now. If you already have a bid, you're stuck. You have to wait out that auction. You cannot change it if you have a bid. Um, so I don't know what I would have done. If I, I, golly, that's tough. $300 is a lot of money. And if he, this person would have said no, maybe the person wouldn't have bought it. Maybe they would have found something else in the meantime before the auction ended. Who knows? Or maybe it could have went for 600. Ah, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. What would you have done? Would you have, uh, Put it on a buy it now or let the auction ride. So we were talking about Mercari. Um, you can also sell on Poshmark Plush. Uh, I don't know. Facebook Marketplace, probably. Definitely. But I, you know, I had stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I was just really struggling. So I ended up getting rid of Facebook Marketplace and I don't use it anymore. And I recently just... Uh, deleted my Etsy stuff also, because honestly, I think Etsy is every three months you get that rollover charge of like 10 cents. And I think Etsy is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but I've just got too many things going on and I wasn't putting new items on Etsy and the items were really stale that I had over there. And I was just continuing to get that fee. So I decided to just cut off my Etsy for now. I'm not saying I won't go back to Etsy in the future because I think it's a great platform. But um, if you do vintage items, definitely consider cross-posting to Etsy, even your plush. I know the Rebel Reseller has uh, done well with plush on Etsy. So if you're on eBay only and you want to cross-post, I use List Perfectly. I start my items on eBay and then I cross-post to the platforms that I use, which is now only Mercari and Poshmark. Um, Etsy and Facebook, I stopped. I did Grailed for a little bit. I think it's a great platform. I was putting my trucker hats over there. Great for vintage clothing. Uh, but, you know, just uh, for me, I've got YouTube. I'm now doing whatnot. It's just overwhelming. If you're only reselling, get those items on other platforms. Um, I'm picking my three favorites, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot is totally a different ballgame. I'm bringing stuff live, um, so it's live auctions over there. So that's totally different. But if you guys are not following me on whatnot, I would love for you to come over and follow me. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Um, if you want to get $15 of free money to shop, I mean, hello, who doesn't want free money? I do have a referral link down below. If you click on that and join whatnot, you're going to get $15 to shop. And you don't have to spend that with me. You can spend that with anybody, but I would love it if you would come to one of my shows. As I always say for my whatnot, no pressure to buy, just come hang out. I would love to see you guys over there. Okay, so if you wanna learn about lists perfectly, I have this video right here. Uh, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, that's gonna get you 30% off your first month. So if you have a bunch of plush on eBay and you wanna get them over to Mercari and you wanna do it fast, list perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. I love it. I still love it. I mean, that's a long time. It's what, is it 2023? I don't even know. Um, it's a long time. So uh, great product, great product. And I use it for my business. So there's some other links of things that I use for my business down in the description. If you guys want to use my referral links, that's awesome. But yeah, list perfectly 30% off with referral code Buddies, all one word. And check it out. 
All right, we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna have more plush videos like this coming your way. Do you guys like the plush videos? I absolutely love seeing the big money plush. So there are certain um, people that sell plush that have YouTube channels and I'm gonna shout out the Rebel Reseller. You guys have probably heard me talk about her a million times. She's fantastic, but she also sells other things. The Cajun Reseller, the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and Flippin' Hippos are the four that come to mind as like, they love plush. And uh, definitely check them out. And I will link them down below in the description for you guys. All right, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's gonna be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and a video down below. Check out some more um, Bolo category videos. I also have My What Solds. I am a full-time reseller. This is what I do. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.